1800s America, dispute over slavery stirred the nation. <laughs> South Carolina seceded from the Union on December 20th, 1860. After South Carolina left, other southern states followed and it tried to convince states on the border of free territory to secede as well. They formed the Confederate States of America. Jefferson Davis, president of the Confederacy, won't let the Union control, control Fort Sumter, the last piece of Union rule in the Confederate territory. April 21st, 1861, the Civil War began. Lincoln needed 75,000 troops for three months. Stop! To keep the nation together, Abraham Lincoln enacted martial law, military forces rolling in the area, and suspended habeas corpus, the right to be tried in court. I can do whatever I like. The North and South had individual plans, such as Union official Winfield Scott's Anaconda plan to close all of the South sports. The South tried to establish itself as a nation by selling cotton to the British, but they were angry that they tried to use them, so they bought cotton elsewhere. <laughs> At the first battle of Bull Run, neither side was adequately prepared. The North thought it would be an easy defeat, but the South provided otherwise. <laughs> the Confederacy captured the Union ironclad ship Merrimack and renamed it the Virginia. The Union fought it with the chip monitor, marking the first major naval battle. <laughs> A massive Confederate victory, General Evros Burnside phones it in as commander. This man, Abraham Lincoln, gives the emancipation proclamation freeing the slaves in rebel states. The Confederate States of America did not accept this. Emancipation Proclamation! In the Battle of Chancellorsville, the South was victorious, but Stonewall Jackson was killed by his fellow Confederate soldiers. Is that the ghost of Stonewall Jackson with you? Yes, it is. The Union victory at the Battle of Gettysburg was the turning point of the war. <laughs> Southern forces tried to retaliate with Pickett's charge, which ended in failure.
major southern city, giving the Mississippi River to the north. Too bad! We're taking it! George McClellan, Lincoln's former general, is nominated by Peace Democrats as his presidential opponent. Lincoln now ordered, orders General Grant to end the war before the next election. <laughs> ordered General Sherman to finish off the war by getting into the inside and destroying everything on November 15, 1864. Sherman's march to the sea st uh, started in Atlanta to went to the port city of St. Abraham Lincoln was not alive for this. He was on April 14th, 1865.